Suppose we want to walk from the point 00, 0 to the point n, n, only traveling north and east and not passing below this diagonal y equals x. This problem consists of counting what are called the northeast integer lattice paths, and they look like this. In a previous video, I enumerated lots of these and showed how to find a recursive formula for counting the number of such lattice paths. Right here we see that the first few values of this sequence are 1, 1, 2, 5, 14, and here we see the 42 lattice paths traveling from 0, 0 to 5, 5. As I said, we know already how to find a recursion for this sequence. But if we let c sub n be the number of such lattice paths to n, n, can we now find a closed formula for this integer sequence? Here's one way to provide a closed formula for the number of such paths. Here we let n equal 5 represent the general situation. Instead of counting the restricted lattice paths, we can first enumerate all the lattice paths traveling northeast that go from 0, 0 to n, n. In a previous video, I showed that this is counted by a binomial coefficient. But we want to avoid the paths that pass below y equals x. Those must be the ones that intersect this line y equals x minus 1. For each such path that intersects the red line, we can reflect the remaining part of the path after the first intersection across that line. Here we do it with all of the lines that we don't want to include in our final count. As we reflect and remove the bad lattice paths, we notice something special about all of these reflections. Look at what happens to the endpoint of these lattice paths. They all seem to be hitting on the same point. So what we're getting from this collection of reflected lattice paths seems to be a collection of lattice paths that still starts at the origin, 0, 0, but this time ends at a different point. In fact, all of the reflected lattice paths end at the point n plus 1 comma n minus 1, which is the reflection of the point n n over the red dotted line. But now if we enumerate all the northeast lattice paths from 0, 0 to the point n plus 1 comma n minus 1, we see that each of them crosses the red dotted line, and therefore must have been one of the reflected paths. Because the reflection process is invertible, we see there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the bad paths, traveling to n comma n, and all of the paths, traveling to n plus 1 comma n minus 1. But now we have our strategy to count the good lattice paths, the ones from 0, 0 to n, n, traveling northeast and not passing below the diagonal. In order to do this, we must first have all the paths that travel northeast from 0, 0 to n, n. As I mentioned before, this is counted by the binomial coefficient 2n choose n. Then we're going to subtract all of the bad paths, but we know that those correspond to the northeast lattice paths traveling from 0, 0 to n plus 1, comma, n minus 1, which is also counted by the binomial coefficient 2n choose n plus 1. But then we can use binomial coefficient identities and formulas to see that c sub n is equal to 1 divided by n plus 1 times 2n choose n. This is a closed formula for the sequence cn, which are known as the Catalan numbers. You can find this result in any standard text describing the Catalan numbers.